Single setup phones and mix. Turn up at a house party. Plug your K2 into the stereo system and mix to your heart's content. You also have a dedicated headphone cue bus so that you can prep and cue tracks before dropping into the main mix. At home you can use it for rehearsing and playing sets or making analog recordings of your mix. Start by connecting your K2 to your PC or Mac with the USB cable provided. Use the audio out RCA connectors on the rear of your K2 to connect to powered speakers or an amplifier. Plug your headphones into the 3.5mm socket at the front of the unit. In your chosen software application, set your monitor or headphone output to sound card outputs 1 and 2. This will route the cue bus to your headphones. Route your mix output to sound card outputs 3 and 4. This will route the mix output to your speakers. From the Preferences window in Tractor, click on Audio Setup and select Audio Device. Choose Zone K2 from the list. Now set your output routing. Make sure your mixing mode is on internal and your output monitor and output master as shown. From the preferences window in Ableton, select audio and select audio output device. Choose zone K2 from the list. Now set your output config. Make sure 1, 2 stereo and 3, 4 stereo are enabled. Choose OK. Check that cue out displays 1, 2. And master out displays 3, 4. From the preferences window in Tractor, click on audio setup and select audio device. Choose Zone K2 USB ASIO driver from the list. Now set your output routing. Make sure your mixing mode is on internal and set your output monitor and output master as shown. From the Preferences window in Ableton, select Audio and make sure the driver type is set to ASIO. In the Audio Device list, choose the Zone K2 USB ASIO driver. Now set your output config. Make sure 1, 2 stereo and 3, 4 stereo are enabled. Choose OK. Check that Q out displays 1, 2 and Master out displays 3, 4. To import the Tractor MIDI map known as a TSI file, in the Preferences window in Tractor, select Control and Manager. Choose Import. Browse to the save location of the TSI file you wish to load. Select and open it. In the Categories to Import window, select OK. Make sure that the MIDI device import and output are set to Zone K2 for both devices in the K2 map. To import the Ableton MIDI map known as an ALS file, select Open Live Set from the File menu. Browse to the save location of the ALS file you wish to load. Select and open it. You will see the layout change according to the ALS file you have chosen. Now open the Preferences panel. Choose MIDI Sync tab. On the MIDI ports, set the Zone K2 input track on and remote on. Then set the Zone K2 output track on and remote on.